Hey, this is Ivan from Bardeen. If you're doing job search, one of the most common workflows is simply saving the jobs that you find into your job tracker. Yet you will find jobs anywhere. And sometimes it leads to a lot of context switching just to open the apps and log every new job. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple playbooks that will allow you to create jobs from anywhere in the web into the most popular apps for Notion, Coda, Airtable, and Google Sheets. So I'm going to show you how to do this. For example, I'm here in Y Combinator Jobs, and I just found this new job. This seems intriguing. And instead of going to my job tracker, opening it, logging a new one, I'm just gonna quickly open my Virgin Chrome extension I'm going to click on this playbook that adds a new job to Notion. And here I need to specify the Notion database for my job tracker. So I'm going to select my job board. Here I need to check if all the fields are properly added. And that's it. And this will ask me the main fields for saving a job. And that is the job position. This one is called product manager. job listing URL, I can either get the link or I can do this, print page URL, and the contact for this job unknown. And now I'm going to run this playbook and this will create a new page in Notion. And I'm going to show you small little tricks to make this even faster. Let's see the result from this. So here we have the page created and we can find it on our job board here okay let's do it again with another one let's do it with this one perfect let's say i want to get this name that is very long so i'm just gonna select this and i'm going to run my next animation this will add the information to coda instead of notion let's do it i'm going to click here i need to specify the coda document and then the table for saving the job, that is the job board. I'm going to specify the name of the job position that I got selected so I can select this. Get selected text on current page. And this will get that text that I just selected. The company is called Instacart, I think. And the job listing URL is current page URL. Who is the job contact? In this case, we don't have any. And I'm going to Remember my inputs because I want to only be asked about this field. So I will remember my Coda document and my Coda table. You can do this for the other apps too. Perfect. So now I'm going to open my Coda job tracker and I should see here my new job created. Now I can specify additional information or create a company and relate it to this job. Now let's do another example for just browsing through LinkedIn and you see a job post that is very interesting and you want to save this. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to click on my next automation that would save it to Google Sheet. Click here and I'm going to select my job board. The job position Let's say I forgot the name, so I can click here and just check sales associate junior and continue with my automation. Sales associate junior, which company? And I'm going to paste my URL. That's another way to do it. And who's the contact? This is called Mighty Munoz. I'm going to remember my inputs for the next time not being asked about the Google Sheet again. Perfect. Now we can do it with another example on LinkedIn. Junior business analyst. Let's say I wanna quickly save this. So I'm going to open here and I'm going to do it for, I'm going to select the company name and I'm going to trigger my next one that is add job to Airtable. And 
it's the same steps. And the company name is the selected text. Contact. And I'm going to run my playbook. Perfect. Now I got a new job in my job board. Okay, so we got the position, the status is saved, the link, the contact name. We can specify the other information by opening this and filling up the rest. So these are useful automations to optimize the time that it takes you to save a new job into your systems. But you can also customize it to work however you want. So let's see how you can do this for our table. Let's say we want to be asked about the location and the source. These are two different types of data fields. One is dynamic because it changes for every job. And the other one is fixed. I want to add an option here that it's called added manually. I want to use this. So I'm going to customize my Airtable playbook just by opening it in the builder and going to this action. I can open this. And now I'm going to add two columns. One is called location. And I'm going to use the ask me every time command so I can be asked about the location. And I'm going to name this where is this job located? And I'm going to click done. And I'm also going to use the source. And I'm going to select here, add it manually. Okay, I'm going to hit done. I'm going to save this. And we can do the same exercise for another job just to test. And where is the job located? Let's check. It's in Bogota. I'm going to select here Bogota. I'm going to run this. And here I should be able to get my new job that has now a location and a, and a source that we're added. Okay, so this automation so optimize the time it takes you to create a new job, but also to create them from anywhere in the web. Either you're taking a conference, browsing through LinkedIn, or simply browsing through a social media, then you can save jobs this way in a matter of seconds.